All right, everybody, so we're Thursday morning, and uh, these are my last two days of practice for uh, Pro Bass Canada's Classic on uh, the Richelieu. Um, like you guys saw in our previous videos, uh, we don't have much. <laughs> we, uh, we're kind of new to this Lake Champlain business, and we want to get uh, good pretty quick. So uh, we're trying to put as much time as possible in. Uh, today I'm going to be fishing out of Missisquoi Bay. I'm running to Lake Champlain. Uh, and I'm trying to develop a pattern that we started to get on uh, three weeks ago when we fished the Inland Sea. Our, all, our eggs are all in one basket, like we mentioned earlier, so we don't have anything else. The Richelieu was disgusting. Uh, water was brown. Uh, from what I've heard, there might be some people on fish, but in the Richelieu, almost everybody was not only not catching a lot of fish, but getting skunked out. So uh, today I'm going to be uh, working basically deep water. I'm going to be doing a couple of shallow spots in the morning to see if I can find some aggressive fish shallow. But after that, it's going to be eight or nine hours of deep fishing. I'm looking for schools of fish in the Inland Sea that can bring us anywhere from 16 to 19 pounds a day. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted. I might try to show you guys a little bit of techniques that I'm doing today. I'm alone, so uh, the camera work might not be great. But uh, I'll keep you posted, and uh, hopefully we uh, find something that's worth talking about. Hey everyone, so here I am on day two. Uh, apologize for the uh, lack of post-practice video yesterday. It was uh, it was really windy, rainy. I got back to Missisquoi Bay and four and five footers coming into the bay, so it was pretty nasty. Um, yesterday, in a nutshell, uh, was tough. I, I did maybe 12 pounds again. I caught, an, I caught another big fish. I caught one smallmouth very close to five pounds. Uh, on a mid-running crankbait in uh, in about 10 feet of water, so it's a little different than what I'm used to. Uh, I actually saw a ball of uh, shad on my graph in like 7 feet, and I was casting the area. I was kind of like dying off weeds on a drop, and uh, got into two good fish. Got into a 2.5 pounder and got into almost a 5 pounder, so that was the one encouraging thing of the day. Uh, I tried fishing deep a lot, and I was having a really hard time because the wind really died down in the middle of the day. And uh, I found myself like stuck on top of nothing and I was just, I don't know how to do this. I felt like it's so vast, there's so many drop-offs and I was just losing it a bit. And then uh, at the end of the day the wind picked up and um, I decided to try drifting again and I fo focused on a little bit more specific areas and I started catching fish right away. So I was like, okay, maybe that's what we got to do here. So I did it a little more, I caught a bunch of fish, nothing big, all two pounders, two and a half pounders. And uh, I came out this morning with that same, uh, how can I say, the same game plan or same uh, technique to fish deep, and right away it started to pay off. I've caught in a four pounder, a three and a half pounder, uh, on areas where I saw bait on the graph, caught the fish. I'm working very specific breaks, and uh, it's working out so far. I probably have about a 14 pound bag already. It's uh, it's one o'clock, not even. I think it's maybe 12:30. So things are going okay. By no means does this uh, does this tell me that we're going to have a great tournament day. But it tells me that if I fish like this, I have a chance of doing a 14 plus pound bag. So uh, I'm going to grab the camera. I'll show you guys just an idea of what we're actually doing here. Basically, here's my hummingbird unit. Um, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I'm fishing areas that are kind of breaks. So as you can see right here, I don't know if you can see it actually, but it's like a break that comes out. I'll try and zoom out one more. You have your brake line that comes up here, and then you see it cut out here. And then all here is where your deeper water is, so it kind of drops down gradually. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm focusing on these inside and outside turns. So I'm, uh, I'm sticking with that kind of idea, and I'm drifting these over and over, and I'm just sticking with these. I mean, you, there's a million things you can actually fish, but uh, I'm just sticking with that kind of stuff. Uh, the bottom is pretty, uh, pretty simple. It's, uh, it's kind of a flat bottom, but then you see like little bait balls like that. This is probably a bait ball right here, and then you see a couple of these, and you see some red arches coming through, and I've been getting my big fish and stuff like that, so I'm going to keep life easy and uh, keep doing that, so... I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I'm sorry for the close-up here, and uh, tomorrow's our big tournament day. I'm meeting up with Nick at 5 o'clock today, and uh, we'll try and give you guys a video. Hopefully the hotel has high-speed internet so I can get these up to you on time, and if not, well, it'll be after the tournament, so we'll see what happens. All right, so the uh, practice day is over, and uh, it actually went pretty well today. I finished off uh, my five biggest fish for probably about 17 and a half pounds, so uh, by far our best day on Lake Champlain. Um, in a nutshell, what I did was I went back to that spot I was telling you guys about earlier uh, that I was fishing kind of a, a weed line drop off where uh, the smallmouth were busting on shad and on perch and I got another real big fish on that spot, a four, four and a half pounder. So uh, 
is it going to hold fish in the tournament? I have no idea, but catching a big one almost five pounds yesterday, going back today, and uh, within half an hour of fishing and catching another big fish means that big fish are feeding there, so it's a place we're going to fish for sure. Um, tomorrow morning, we're going to be fishing basically. We're going to start off the day uh, making a long run to the Inland Sea, uh, working a riprap shoreline, then we're going to go deep and that, uh, and that drop off weed line, and we're going to see what happens. Today in the deep water, I caught fish from 55 feet all the way to 20 feet. Uh, found actually a really big school of fish in 50 feet of water, so that was kind of neat. Caught over 20 smallmouth, dropping my drop shot down, hit it right away. A lot of little guys, but still pretty impressive to see fish in 53, 54 feet of water, uh, bunched up feeding on bait. So uh, tomorrow's the uh, the first. Uh, actually, I don't want to say that, but our biggest tournament of the year so far. Uh, we're excited. We're pumped up. We finally had a good practice the last day before the tournament, so we're going to see what happens and uh, hopefully nail two really big bags and win the classic.